Google just announced a Gemini engine. Now, there's been uh, you know, something said about the release video. I think it was obvious right from the start that that video was heavily edited. But what I wanted to do is just give this Gemini engine a go. You know, it's now powering Bard, so you can go to bard.google.com and you can give it a go. So it's based on a multimodal model, so supposed to take all kinds of input and give you some, some output. So what I've done here, very simply, I took a biostatistics question that might appear in a homework assignment. I wrote it out in pencil on a yellow legal pad and I took a photo of it with my phone and I uploaded that photo. And uh, I'm going to show you what, uh, what Gemini can do. So here's the image that I took on my phone. It's not uh, particularly sharp. Uh, specifically, if we go down to the bottom and we see the solution, it's sort of almost going out of... Uh, out of focus and you can see even here with a 52 I initially wrote down the wrong number and I had to use my eraser so there's quite a few artifacts in this image so let's go back to the top the question reads determine the t-statistic for the following research question researchers randomize 100 participants to receive either a novel intervention or a placebo and measure a value for continuous numerical variable after the novel stroke placebo interventions their results are summarized in the table below, and I've just written it down. We see, as far as the columns are concerned, the novel intervention group and the placebo group. And then we've got three rows of information, sample size n, sample, sample mean, that's x bar, and sample standard deviation, marked with an s there. We see the, the results 52, 48, 199, and 10, and 10.5. And then also in the question, there's a little hint to say use the formula for equal variance t-test. So terrible handwriting, as you can see here, the, the letters aren't 100% accurate or clear. There are a lot of letters there. If we look at the R there, right at the top, that doesn't really look like an R. Some of the A's that we form are not coherent in as much as the downstroke is not part of the A. We look here, for instance, where I wrote deviations. Um, it might be D E V I or C L E V I C I. Very difficult to read this handwriting. And then there's my solution. I wrote down this format of the t statistic for equal variance t test, the specific standard format of the standard error that I used here. Plugged in the values and of course used a calculator just to calculate the t statistic. So this is the image that is going into BARD. Now here we are in BARD. As you can see at the top, I've had to use a private window as far as uh, some organizational access to the internet is concerned. You will not have access to BARD or ChatGPT. You might have to use a private window. And I've also logged in just in a personal account. So just be aware that some institutions are not going to give you access to BARD. So this is it. Now you can see I've already tried it. There's solution verification. And so I'm just going to open that. So that is what I did when I first uploaded the photo. And there's the upload of the photo and there is the solution. So what we're going to try and do is just to replicate that in a new chat. So there we go, new chat. I'm going to upload the photo and I've called it testquestion.jpg. And there it is, you can see it's uploaded. So I've just clicked the little image or upload image button and there it is. And all I'm going to do now is just to write a prompt. So there's my prompt and I've just written, the image is a test question in biostatistics. Verify that the solution is correct. Now let's hit the submit button. And there we go, the solution that only took a couple of seconds and it says, yes, the solution to the test question in the image is correct. The question is asking for the T statistic for a two sample T test with equal variances, the solution uses the following formula. And there we go, it's got the pooled standard deviation, or pooled variance, I should say, in the denominator there as part of the standard error. And it says, you know, something about x bar 1 and x bar 2, that pooled variance that we can see there. And it plugs in the values, and it gets the same t-statistic, 0.218. Therefore, the t-statistic for the test is 0.218. And it says, checking the solution and it is using t.test uh, from R. So it's used R to verify this, and it sees the t-statistic of 0 0.218, uh, 98 degrees of uh, freedom, and a p-value of 0 0.82, and we would fail to reject that null hypothesis. The t-statistic is calculated by R, 
and as calculated by R is the same as the T statistic calculated in the solution. Therefore, we can conclude that the solution is indeed correct. So I think, you know, with that uh, bad handwriting and that bad uh, image really that was taken and not very clearly set out, I mean, look how I wrote the table when we looked back at the image. There we go. I didn't necessarily make, you know, do a very good job at creating this table, but Bard got it absolutely right with the new Gemini engine. So there you go. So I thought Google did very well there. Just the usual disclaimer, please don't use this to do your homework. Don't cheat yourself out of doing the actual work and getting that knowledge. You really do need it. But as for now, I think this is quite, uh, quite fun to play with and perhaps maybe very instructive.